So, Tom, let's start with the testimony yesterday from Alexander Sasha Trudeau, the brother of the prime minister. He uh, really wanted to clear the air, it seems, about what happened with this donation from a businessman linked to Beijing uh, and what happened in terms of the intent of that donation, how it all went down. He requested to appear before the committee. What did you make of his testimony? Well, the way he presented also was interesting. He showed up a good 10 minutes early, you know, it was a bring it on type of attitude, one that we've known from the dad and from from Justin Trudeau. But it, it was downhill from there, as far as I'm concerned, because he went after the outgoing uh, CEO and president, Pascal Fournier, who had done a very good turn before a parliamentary committee last week, answering all questions fully, and nobody was able to find any flaws in her testimony. Well, he did. He went after her. He basically said that she lied. He said, oh, no, she said that. That's false. She said this. This is false. And it should be borne in mind that he had left the foundation, you know, a couple of years ago. So he wasn't even there for some parts of what he was discussing. And he said, he said well, you know, turns out that the board chair is somebody who was once with Power Corporation, who's got, you know, decades of experience with this stuff. And he's, you know, his version is the one that I'm going with. But it, it left a very bad taste in the mouth because why is he deciding that the woman who left that job on a question of principle and resigned at the same time as eight other board members, they're the ones who are wrong, the people who have stayed are right when all these conti questions continue to swirl around. And Lois, he, he also went after some of the media that had been covering this. And I think that that was a huge mistake because of course, you don't start a fight with somebody who buys ink by the barrel as the old saying goes, but at the same time, You've got to be able to prove your point. And none of what he said really stood up. I thought it was, by the way, a very good day for the committee itself. I think that uh, Matthew Green uh, of the NDP, whom we just saw there on screen, and René Villemur of the Bloc really did it. They showed up well prepared. They, they knew what they were doing. And they weren't chewing the scenery. They weren't trying to swing for the fences with every question. They were trying to get a, a job done. And I think it was quite effective. I don't think that he, he managed to accomplish what he had set out to do, which is to clear the air on everything concerning Chinese government interference in Canada and, and the Trudeau Foundation in particular, which is what the, he was there specifically about. And Tom, the Prime Minister has said all along that he has nothing to do with the foundation. He hasn't for a decade. Uh, so do you think that his brother's testimony uh, helped or hurt the case there and what yeah. we've been hearing from the prime minister that's a really smart question i think that's the crucial one here because if the exercise was supposed to put more distance between justin trudeau and these events and issues i don't think it succeeded either nobody that i know is questioning justin trudeau when he says because i think it's forthright it's obviously true that since he became liberal leader he hasn't touched this that's fair enough i don't think anybody's been able to question that but everything comes back every time you have a hit like this so everything comes back with the election interference everything comes back with the number you know a member of his caucus who had to step down everything comes back with regard to michael chong you know we'll be recalling the interference that's really quite clear in the last vancouver municipal election so whether it's federally provincially because somebody had to step down in, in queen's park as well or municipally the government of china and we're always clear to be sure you know, people understand we're talking about the Chinese Communist Party. We're not talking about individual Canadians who happen to hail from that part of the world. And we've got to be careful about that. But here we're talking about a government that has got its nose in a whole bunch of things. We're a democracy. And if Mr. Trudeau's purpose, Sasha Trudeau's purpose yesterday was try to put more distance between his brother's government and these issues, again, uh, I think it went exactly in the opposite direction. All of this keeps coming back. The Globe and Mail's reporting, in my view, has been rock solid. And it reminds me of when Justin Trudeau outright said that the Globe and Mail reporting on SNC-Lavalin and his interference in the prosecution process was absolutely false. And it was proven to be absolutely true. So uh, you do that at your own risk and peril going after people like Bob Fife and the Globe and Mail. And Tom, with the Liberal Convention getting underway today, it'll be interesting to see how much of this might take focus during that convention. Uh, but we do have to leave it there, Tom, because we're out of time. We always thank you for yours. Tom Malkir, CTV News Political Take good care.